And I, I realized these guys are not just calling Trump Hitler anymore. They're calling, they're calling all the Trump supporters Nazis. That's half of the country. Christian Amanpour, who Drew Clavin calls Christian, Christian Amanpour journalist, said on CNN, she made this explicit comparison, compared Trump supporters to Nazis, and evoked Kristallnacht. This week, 82 years ago, Kristallnacht happened. It was the Nazis' warning shot across the bow of our human civilization that led to genocide against a whole identity, and in that tower of burning books, it led to an attack on fact, knowledge, history, and truth. After four years of a modern-day assault on those same values by Donald Trump, the Biden-Harris team pledges a return to norms, including the truth. And every day, Joe Biden makes presidential announcements about good governance and the health and security of the American people, while the great brooding figure of his defeated opponent rages, conducting purges of besieged enemies and preventing a transition. So... Everything in there obviously is false. What's so funny is as Christian Amanpour is talking about how the conservatives are burning books, Target was taking my friend Abigail Schreier's book off the shelves because she suggested maybe we shouldn't trans the kids. Her book is called Irreversible Damage. It's a terrific book. Target removed it because she said, they said it was transphobic. It's now, tra Abigail Schreier, by the way, believes that if you're an adult, you should be able to be a man and identify as a woman and go through the medical cosmetic procedures to look more like a woman and identify as a woman. She's totally on board with that. She just thinks she shouldn't trans the kids. Taken off the shelves. We made a big deal about it on, on Friday. And finally, Target actually did acquiesce because when conservatives have courage, when they grow a spine, turns out we can actually do things. But that's, that's what's happening there. How about, you're worried about crystal knock. You're worried about the broken, night of broken glass. You're worried about all these things. I notice that there are a lot of boards in a lot of shop windows in major cities in America. Do you know why those are up? Because they felt, the shop owners felt that if Trump won, leftists would smash up their windows. Christian Amanpour exactly reverses it, says it's going to be conservatives who do that. Conservatives haven't done that, like ever. I don't think they've done it once. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from the Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.